Okay, so this um, talk is on slip detection for grasp stabilization with a multi-fingered tactile robot hand. Uh, it's work done by Jasper James in his PhD, uh, but he's now finished. So um, and I'm presenting this uh, on his behalf. Um, so this is um, a transactions on robotics paper um, that was published um, just last month. Um, and um, there's a related paper that I'd like to draw your attention to, uh, also published by Jack Jasper, um, co-authored with, um, with Alex Church in our lab, where, um, which deals with the fabrication uh, and uh, testing of the, of the 3D printed three-fingered tactile robot hand that's used in this uh, slip detection study that I'm reporting on today. Okay, so... This work um, combines uh, work from two labs. Firstly, um, our own lab, Bristol Robotics Lab, a tactile robotics group, uh, where we um, specialize in um, fabrication of um, 3D printed soft biometric optical tactile sensors. Uh, because they're 3D printed, we make them in various shapes and sizes and designs and have uh, investigated the, the integration with um, with robot hands, uh, in particular this, this hand here, which is three-fingered model O hand. Um, why did we use those hands? Um, well, the, the, the Grab Lab uh, group at, the, at Yale um, released the designs for, for these 3D printed hands as part of their open hand project on open source robot hands. Uh, so this is, uh, I find this a very inspirational project and something, the right thing to do robotics to openly release these designs. And this is the design of the uh, model o, o hand, also known as the IHY hand that is very well known because it won the uh, DARPA ARM program. Uh, and I say this, this, the release of these, uh, I, we haven't personally collaborated with, with that group, but their, their release of the designs for the hands, I say, is inspirational and has really enabled us to do this, um, this, this work on tactile sensing in, in robot hands. Uh, okay, so the uh, tactile model O, as uh, so we refer to the hand, uh, so it combines our biometric soft uh, optical tactile sensing. This is the design of the sensor. And I refer to, we've, we've got several other papers and presentations here where we discuss the biometrics and the, the nature of the design with, with this 3D printed, uh, four degree of freedom, uh, three, uh, 3D printed underactuated, underactuated robot hand. Uh, so that what will come up within the, this talk is the mechanism for transducing contact into um, tactile sensory data is, makes use of these 3D printed pins uh, or nodules on the underside of the skin on which the markers are, are, are printed on the tips of those. And, marker, and these pins act as levers that turn the indentation of the contact into uh, basically sideways movement of the pin of the markers, which will be important for the um, slip detection capabilities of the hand. So contributions here, firstly integration of the uh, tactile, miniaturization of the tactile sensor to fit onto the Model O open hand. Uh, some demonstrations from that um, study where we, where we described this integration of, on grasping um, for item recognition and grasp success. I'll, I'll, I'll go over that quickly. Um, and then the slip detection, which is the main focus of this, this talk on predicting and correcting for slippage of a held object. And then some applications of that slip correction for, for lift, for delicate lifting uh, of objects and for, um, and for re-grasping objects when they change the properties. Okay, so firstly on the integration of the, um, of the um, tack tip into the, uh, into the Model O. So um, Jasper, this is a couple of years old now, so camera technology has moved on a little bit, but so Jasper had the, uh, had the bright idea of using a Javoir uh, smart machine vision camera which at the time was providing one of the smallest um, cameras for integration into the fingertip shown here uh, and scale with the, with the fingertip of the hand. But in addition to that comes with um, a, a processing, quad core CPU processing, which is sufficient to run, um, run um, OpenCV, Python, 
um, and actually some deep learning uh, convnet on as well. So there's um, there's that, that enables the pre much of the pre-processing of the images to be done on the hand itself, to then give a, a, a much smaller latency uh, when there's communications and processing of that data on the PC to control the hand. Uh, which is important for slip detection and correction because it needs to be really fast. Um, so as I say, there's onboard pre-processing where the tactile images are, are subsampled and captured at about 90 frames per second. Uh, and then on the uh, onboard processing, on the, uh, but within the hand itself, the processing unit that comes with these cameras, uh, so they're cropped, uh, resampled, uh, concatenated from each of the three fingertips uh, together to make a single image. Uh, that's, that's for use of when we're using the images for say item or grasp success prediction that I'll come to. And then for the slip detection, the, the positions of the markers are, are detected uh, in OpenCV uh, and, and a data array of the uh, positions of these markers is outputted for the three fingertips. Um, and so this is another picture of the integrated hand holding, uh, holding a ball. So you can see there's a pleasing integration of the, of the tactile sensor with the, with the hand. Um, it's a little bit bulky uh, and there's quite a bit of cabling. So this is all being, being worked on for, for improvement. But basically, you know, the, 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 the functionality of the hand remains pretty much the same, but it's got this, this, this uh, additional um, high, high definition uh, tactile sensing uh, integrated with it. Okay, so then the, um, now for the validate, for the initial validation of the hand, this, so this is um, point, this is describing this work, which was published in uh, Soft Robotics, a uh, journal of Soft Robotics. Um, we developed, um, um, Alex and Jasper developed um, uh, a um, automated grasping platform where you could, you could perform lots of grasps of different objects in order to collect training data from the fingertips uh, to classify and to um, and to predict whether that grasp will be successful or not. Uh, that training data was was used um, for a convolutional neural network of tactile images uh, to predict, as I say, grasp success and uh, the item that it's grasping. Um, so this is the uh, some examples of this working. So now um, it's using a trained neural network to predict um, firstly what the item is. So in this case, a clamp, which it successfully predicts and also to predict whether the grasp is going to successfully lift the object or, or not, which um, in this case, I mean, it fails because uh, on the, uh, when it doesn't do it, but you could use that for replanning the grasp, for example. So if, you, if you're about to lift an object and you know it's going to fail, then you can redo the grasp. That's happened there. Okay. So now on to the um, main focus of this talk, which is on slip detection and correction. So this is um, an active, field within um, tactile robotics uh, with a number of different uh, technologies and methods from the biotac gel site, uh, the, the sensors integrated in the, tax, in the Barrett hand, the robotique hand. Uh, so there's various methods for this, um, uh, which have been, uh, so there's a review I'm pointing to at the bottom here. So the method we use is, is based, the, based upon the design, so the, the design of the tack tip, the biometric design of the tack tip, naturally leads to, um, to a, a high accuracy capability for detecting slip. Because um, when, when the slip occurs, so here you see the, a, an object, a test rail, this is an, a paper done by Jasper a couple of years back. So the object has been lifted with the tack tip and you see the tack tip is deformed. It retracts and when the object slips, the surface of the tactic bounces back and that reaction causes a coherency of all the velocities of these pins uh, as a really clear slip onset signal. Uh, so as you can see this here, so the, this is the displacement of the pins and you can see this step change. But if you look at the velocity of the uh, pins, the markers moving from frame to frame, you can see this spike, which is a really clear hallmark of, of, a, of a global slip uh, taking place. Um, so that's fairly easy to, to detect because you, you just need to threshold velocity, uh, the average velocity of the pins. Now for the, for the model O, for the tactile model O, it's a more complex procedure 
because now there's three fingers holding the object and there's, there's, you know, the weight of the object is distributed differently across the fingertips. So Jasper used a similar rail to gather, um, to gather test data for the, for the, the slippage of the, uh, of the, hand, of the um, objects on the hand. And it's a similar story. You can see this alignment of the, of the velocities. But what happens instead, because the, because the um, fingertips are a different shape, and as I say, we're considering three, um, if you just consider the threshold and the velocities, that doesn't necessarily give um, a, a reliable signature of slippage. So here's an example of where, you know, just part of the sensor slipped because of, you know, that's how it was contacting the object. But it isn't, it isn't like with the, you know, the tactic, the other designer tactic I showed before where the, the, the whole tactic slips every time. So instead, to, to get around this, so to get around this problem, um, Jasper used um, a, a support vector machine. Um, so here's an example of it working where um, basically um, same trained SVM, um, it's a slippage detector, it's being used in these for all these different items, um, different shaped items, different types of contact being distributed. Some, it doesn't work every time, but it works, you know, 95% of the time with, the, with these objects as a, as a reliable slip detector. And then because Jasper put the hard work into getting the latency very quick on this, um, it's able to react quickly enough to, to catch the item before it drops. Okay, and here's an application to uh, regrasping. So suppose the weight of an object changes, then you'd like to um, be able to to detect, and that causes slippage. You'd be able to, you'd like to be able to detect that and regrasp that the object. So this is an example of it doing of that of that working using the same same method. Uh, there's been other methods, there's been other ways of of doing this, which I'll, I've indicated at the bottom of the slide. Um, they say this is the method we're using here fits particularly with this biometric design of, of the tack tip. Um, and now another example, um, lifting, and you can use these same methods to lift an object with a minimal force grasp. So what you do is you, you try to lift the object, but the, the hand slips over it, but then gradually tightens up the grasp until that the first, first point where that slippage doesn't happen. And then you've got a minimal force grasp for lifting the object. Okay, so I'll conclude and mention some further work. Uh, so we've, um, Jasper and Alec integrated the tactile model O, um, uh, tactic into the model O uh, Grab Lab 3D printed robot hand, applied that to item classification, grasp success recognition. So that's published in the soft robotics paper. Uh, Jasper then went on to, um, to, to, use, uh, to, to use that hand demonstrate an effective slip detection from the marker velocities in a biometric, you know, in an application of this biometric tactile sensor um, for which he found this, a support vector machine was well suited for low latency and, and high accuracy uh, slip prediction. Uh, he validated that on a variety of common objects and also considered the first time grasping and regrasping under um, changing the weight, uh, physical properties of an object. So future work that's been looked at at the moment is um, so the improvement of the uh, tactile model O integration, uh, you know, to get rid of those wires, to have a more pleasing form factor, a more efficient form factor. So there's other work at this conference on the uh, on the soft hand um, where we've integrated the tactic into that. That's a smaller fingertip and we're using similar technology, uh, transforming that back to the uh, model O. Uh, and then Jasper also has work on incipient slip detection. Uh, that he actually presented at IOS, uh, the last at IOS 2020, where instead of a global slip event, as we're discussing here, where the object actually physically slips and then you 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 correct for that, instead you 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 detect that slippage is about to occur from local regions of slippage in the contact, but before the global slip event occurs. And I say it turns out the tactic design is 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 well suited for that um, for that application too. So thank you to the Tactile Robotics Group who do all the hard work. And I say I just um, I just talk about it. Presentation. So this is um, this is uh, this is the lab. And uh, Jasper is there next to me. Okay. Thank you for listening.